SummerSlam was a very, very interesting pay-per-view. Uh, I, lo- I liked the setup at the Thunderdome, uh, how they put everything together with that. And then my favorite matches were Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton, the street fight between Seth Rollins and Dominic Mysterio with Rey Mysterio, the no, the no DQ loser leaves WWE match, and then the uh, the Raw Tag Team Championship matchup, which was pretty good. Absolutely. So for me, what I really liked, I'm just looking at notes quick a little bit. I went the Alex route today. I did the I I, I went the notes route, so I I wrote <laughs> things down. So you should be proud of me for doing that. Um, pretty much, I. Uh, you know, it was interesting because going into the show, I was kind of like, uh, oh, ho-hum, another WWE show. This is this is going to be boring. Da, da. And it actually... It was actually pretty good. It was above average. Yes, it was. And, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of the main event. I thought it would be better. But I did like how they closed it. And we're going to have a, you know, we're going to have a snippet in the second half of the show later because... Really quick, if you did not if you did not see SmackDown last night, boy. It, it, oh what yeah, was, oh what yeah. Was the, what was the slogan for SummerSlam this year? You never saw it coming. Literally, you never saw this coming, and it involves Roman Reigns and a certain manager getting together. And I want to talk about that main event really quick, Alex, if if you don't mind, because I I want to dive right into it because people were thinking, okay. Uh, first off, Roman Reigns' new T-shirt is so is so cool. Did you what what I forget what it says. It, I forget it, what it says too. I, I I saw it on Instagram. I just can't really get it off the top of I, my head. I I got I gotta find it because it was so cool that uh, it has to be talked about. The new it's like the new one. Let's see what what is it. Uh, I I have to find it. It was awesome. But anyway, I thought the shirt. I thought the show was really good i thought the main event was uh definitely something that i thought would be better but i like the aspect of roman now joining the 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 way he was done in the sense of okay this this works now because now now you're starting to see him we're gonna we're gonna talk about it later roman is now officially a heel yeah and that's something that i believe i know it's just something in Four years in the making since he came in from NXT and everything. Really I quick, it's wreck everyone and leave. Okay, wreck everyone and leave. Everyone and leave. <laughs> like since he came out from NXT with the Shield and everything, originally when Seth Rollins turned heel, I thought it was going to be Roman Reigns. So now that it's happening now, and it's going to be uh, interesting to see how it all ties together. Yeah, for sure. Um, and again, we're going to talk about it later, but I thoroughly enjoy... I'm kind of curious now if he's in charge of the Retribution group. I don't know if he's in charge of that group. I'm not entirely sure. But now, of course, it's kind of funny because now tomorrow is another pay-per-view with payback. So it's like, oh, hey, we're going to go to another one, <laughs> in a, which I didn't understand that whole thing, but whatever. Um but I, I, I liked where they're going with the Roman Reigns stuff. It's something I never, ever, ever, ever thought Vince would ever do. But I guess if Vince is going to do it, now's the perfect time for him to do what he probably feels because there's no fans in the arena. Yeah, and it's good to have something exciting, new, and fresh to include. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, Alex, you would agree with this. If, 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 the, if there were fans in the stands... You know, I don't know if he would have pulled the trigger, but because there's no fans, now people could just divulge it on social media and stuff, and Vince doesn't have to hear anybody. And not that he, not that not that Vince ever listens to anybody anyway, because he never does. <laughs> but I mean, um, but the, but to be able to divulge the whole thing with no fans, it makes it easier for him to pull this trigger. And I think there were two guys that fans for years wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me, see heel. And that was, of course, Roman Reigns and John Cena. We're finally getting that. But we'll discuss more about Roman Reigns later. I enjoyed the Drew McIntyre Randy Orton match. The finish was interesting because I think what it did was Drew won. But he, you saw on Raw when Randy punting him in the head, I think it was three times. Now Drew's out, which now Randy's facing Keith Lee tomorrow at Payback, which is 
a fascinating. <clears throat> Can I just say one thing really quick? I already absolutely hate, hate what they're doing to Keith Lee's character. Already. Yeah, they shortened his name from Keith Lee just to Keith. Like, oh, but it's not even that. It's it, why the music is terrible. The music, the music, literally, Alex. You ever play the video game SmackDown vs. Raw or WWE 2K? Or oh, it's something like that. The generic music. It's uh, like the character music. Yeah. <laughs> like, why would you do that? And then to have the ring gear that he has, his ring gear was fine. And this is exactly what they did with Shinsuke Nakamura. They gave him an entire bodysuit. Why are you doing this? Why adds an element to it? Even with Ricochet. Ricochet, when he comes out on pay-per-views, looks like a Power Ranger, which sometimes is cool, sometimes it's stupid, <laughs> but it doesn't make any sense. Why is it just a, pow- a power a power play, a, a pay-per-view? That's the part that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why they're doing what they do with what they're doing. Keep leaving. If it ain't broke, don't, don't fix it. If it wasn't broke, when his T-shirt came out at NXT, it sold out within minutes. Why are you messing with something that is working? Yeah, that's something I really don't understand with uh, WWE. When they bring somebody up from NXT, why can't they just stick with what they have and not change it? Why, Alex, why is FTR not here anymore? Why are they not here anymore? Because what they did with the Revival in NXT, they completely left it on the main roster. That's That's the whole point of this and that's why i'm scared when guys like adam cole and these guys get called up they're gonna mess around with this nonsense when they already have success exactly um i mean what else with the pay-per-view because we only have already a few more minutes before we go to nxt uh recap of takeover 30 my my thought process with the whole thing alex was i thought the pay-per-view was pretty good i thought it was successful i i like what you said I love the Thunderdome idea. I really do. The only thing I can't stand is the. the I don't like the screens of people. I don't. I don't like that idea. But that's the thing. I don't know if you've watched the NBA and how they've done it. I don't mind it. So the NBA basically takes the people's heads, and they what they do is they put them on these chairs, these hologram chairs. But everybody's background is the same. With this, you're getting a green background, a blue background, a yellow background, a red background. So far, we've seen a fire velveteen dream background. We've seen a Pikachu picture. We've seen a uh, Chris Benoit. All right, Chris Benoit picture. We just saw a Kenny Omega one. <laughs> yeah. um, we saw a Kenny Omega one. We saw an Elmo one with two eyes um, as one, which you knew was going to happen. But if they're going to do it, just have the same background for everybody. You don't have Definitely. to make- Backgrounds. Agreed. Don't, don't make it that way. Um, the crowd noise needs to be pumped up more, 100%. But look, I, you know, Oscar beating Sasha Banks, which Alex, I forget. I think you said, which one did you say she was going to beat? Was it Banks or was it Bailey? I said it was going to be Banks. Good Banks, and I said Bailey. So you were right on that. So kudos to you. Um, like I said, I thought the pay per view was fine. I thought it was good. It wasn't great. I, I, I agree with you. I thought Dominic Mysterio really showed a good performance. Yeah, he really did. He took I, it he yeah. took it to a new level and uh, something we'd never seen him do before. And 100%. it a hundred percent and it's it, it's really interesting to see him grow and uh adapt more in the ring and we're getting to see uh, uh more and more of that every week. Yeah, and it actually you know, it's just in the next uh, minute we're going to talk about take over 30 and another guy who showed a really good performance I thought was Pat McAfee but um, I like I said I didn't think SummerSlam was gr- I thought it was good I think you would agree right I would say probably 6.5 maybe 7.2 out of 10 I would say yeah. maybe 6. 5, I would, I'll go I'll go 6.5 6 I'll give it a 6 I'll say a solid 6 out of 10 there were some things that I just were like, eh, you know, like I, I thought Garza and Andrade maybe should have won the belts. You know, that's I, I just feel like Selena's group has been losing too much. Um, you know, but I mean, look, I, 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 th- I thought it was interesting. I, we'll, we'll see going forward with it. But payback's already tomorrow. So we're yep. going to re- 
We're gonna re- recap Payback next week, and we're gonna we're gonna be previewing All Out. So it's like a flip of the switch. It's like boom, instantly. All right, Alex, let's get right into it. Let's do Takeover Thirty before we go to break in a few minutes. Um, excellent, excellent pay per view. I thought. I think it was. Way yeah, def- than- it definitely was. Better than in your house. I thought it was way better. Yeah, it was better. The effects, the lighting, everything, just how they had the stage set up was, it was on point. It worked out perfectly. And so basically what I did was I had my friend over. We watched it. What we did was we watched Dynamite first from, from, usually, you know me, I like to watch both at the same time, but he doesn't like to do that. You know, he, because the thing is, it's, um, you know, he doesn't like to do that because he likes to have paying attention to a takeover. It's not just a regular NXT episode, which is understandable. I get it. I'm just teasing him. It's understandable. So we watched Dynamite from 6 to 8, and we started TakeOver an hour late, which was totally fine. It didn't really affect anything or do anything. We just continued it. Um, but I really like the, um, you know. I would say my favorite matches from – Takeover was the uh, North American Championship ladder match, Finn Balor versus Timothy Thatcher, uh, and then we had Adam Cole versus Pat McAfee, which was uh, insane. The I stuff want... Pat McAfee did was just unreal. Alex, let's get into that really quick and let's talk about that because I think that's something a lot of people on social media were discussing because going into it, uh, people were concerned about how can McAfee keep up with Adam Cole. Look, remember we did our – I don't know why I'm moving my hands all over the place. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um, I just feel like I'm, I'm fired up today, man. I'm revved up. I just – you know, it's it's so much to talk about. But, um, you know, going into the match, remember we did our top five wrestlers in the world. I had Adam Cole at – I think you had him at two or one maybe. Five. five? Yeah. Five. No, 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 no. I had Osprey at two, Omega at three, uh, Okada was one for me. I think I had Styles at four, Cole at five. That's what I think it was. But I had Adam Cole's top five wrestler in the world. So that leads me to believe that I can trust Adam Cole with doing or working with anybody in the world. That's what my thing is. And, you know, I was discussing with my friend that was over, and he basically said, uh, oh, okay. I feel like they're giving McAfee too much offense. And I'm like, well, look, it's storytelling. What do you want him to do? If Cole dominates the whole match, it's going to be boring because then what's the point of having the match then? The point of having exactly. the match is have storytelling and have this and that. I mean, look, are you going to tell me that Dominic Mysterio had too much offense on, on Seth Rollins? You know, it just – that's just something that – I thought I heard something. That's just something that really when you look at it – it needs to be done that way. And I thought McAfee did a great job. Yeah, uh, he did an amazing job. The stuff he did, the sunset flip flip off the turnbuckle onto everybody was insane. Just the, the amount of next level stuff and perf- how he performed was great. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 I thought when I look back, um, when, when, I, when I look back, I mean, look, that was not the best match of the night i thought the best to me the best match of the night was the ladder match um it was interesting because there were times when i really wanted bronson reed to win and i i'm not frustrated that reed didn't win i mean damien priest winning is something new and it seems like they're gonna go with the rivalry after see we're gonna discuss nxt the next half but it seems like they're going with the Bronson Reed, um, Damian Priest route. That, no, they're going with the Bron- with the Damian Priest, the Tim- Timothy Thatcher route, is what it seems like. Because remember, Thatcher, okay, oh yeah, because Thatcher came, he came back in backstage somewhere. He came backstage. Um, so that seems to be the route that they're going, which is cool. I'm fine with that. I actually remember I said I thought Thatcher should have been in the ladder match anyway, but Thatcher put on a, a pretty good match with, um. He put on a, a pretty good match with Balor. Not great. It was pretty good. I give it a solid B. Uh, 